Hello there. Um, in this video, I'm going to explain how you can use the uh, Fluid Designer for 3D printing assets uh, and set them up basically in Blender 2.9 and also set up the uh, Dual Craft add on. Now, all of these can be downloaded free of charge from fluiddesigner.co.uk. So, if you just go onto the internet and uh, basically you just need to go to the download page. And uh, there's a link there to Blender 2.9. So if you haven't got Blender 2.9, if you just uh, click on that link, that will take you to Blender. Now, uh, 2.9 will install on Windows or the uh, Mac operating system or Linux. So you need to choose the right operating system there uh, and install Blender. So that's the first thing you need to do. <coughs> now, after you've done that, what we recommend is that you install the dual craft add-on um, and the dual craft add-on basically is on github and uh, if you go to the github page if you just scroll down now it's important that you install the right version of this so you want dual craft 2.81 which works with blender 2.9 so if you just download that to your uh, hard drive and uh, essentially then you need to uh, Having downloaded and installed Blender, you need to run Blender. So this is what Blender looks like when you open it up. And uh, to install the Dual Craft add-on, if you go to Edit and Preferences and click on Install, and then you basically need to go where you've downloaded the add-on to. So it's Dual Craft 2.81 zip and install that add-on now I've actually already got it installed and so in my blender preferences if I just scroll down <coughs> we'll see where um, the dual craft is so it's this one here and it needs to be ticked if you untick it it's, it's not going to appear on the system so you need to tick it and uh, what we then need to do uh, once we've got dual craft so dual craft is actually available over here on the right so it's uh, it's this window here we want to now add the uh, assets well we need to download the assets first of all so if you go back to the internet and uh, go back to the fluid designer page you can download and unzip the fluid designer assets by clicking on the link here and that will actually take you to Dropbox um, <clears throat> so these are all the assets, these are all folders that you're going to basically install on your system. Uh, and to download this for free, if you click on the download button over here and do a direct download, uh, so it's sending the request to Dropbox and uh, that will actually download that to your hard drive now it's going to take quite a while on my system so i'll just cancel that because i've already downloaded it previously once you've actually downloaded that zip file essentially all you need to do is to double click on it on the drive where you're going to keep it and uh, in my case i've got it in the documents folder and uh, what once you've unzipped that zip file you should have a folder called fluid designer for 3d printing which contains all of these subfolders. So most of them are called patterns, as you can see here. Uh, there are a few at the top that are called jewelry, and there's one that says meshes. So if you uh, double click on any of those folders, you should find a load of Blender files and some PNG files. So uh, you need to know where this uh, folder is. So in my case, it's in documents and fluid designer for 3D printing. So those are the assets. So if we uh, go back to uh, Blender now, once you've installed the uh, Dual Craft add-on, if you look at where it says Assets here, we want to set the library folder. Set the library folder. So that's the one we want to click on. And uh, so that takes you into Blender Preferences and the Dual Craft add-on. And we want Asset Manager here. And um, what we need to do is to click on where it says plus, add a library essentially. And if we double click on the folder here, double click on the folder. And uh, you then need to, in my case, go to documents and go to fluid designer for 3D printing. So wherever you've unzipped that folder, that's where you need to go and uh, accept that. So you'll get a path here. 
And notice uh, some uh, something appearing just down here. This shows me that we've linked to the assets when you get these icons here. If you've not set up the correct path here, you won't get to these uh, images here. So uh, if we click on here, you'll see these are all the patterns. These are the different uh, folders which are in the Fluid Designer for 3D Printing Asset folder. So uh, that's how you can uh, set up um, Dualcraft and set up the Fluid Designer assets and say they're all available free uh, on our website. And uh, once you've done that, if you actually uh, then go back to Fluid Designer download page, if you go to Netfab Basic, we do recommend that you install Netfab Basic on your system. That's available to download free. Now, the link there is just to the Windows version. If you're not using Windows, if you just Google Netfab Basic uh, for the Apple Mac, you should be able to find that one and you can download and install that uh, software. And we'd also recommend that uh, you can install the add ons Fluid Designer Parametric Curves and Fluid Designer Parametric Meshes. And uh, essentially, the way you install those is to just download the zip file. And uh, if you go back to uh, go back to Blender, it's not letting me go back to. Sorry, yeah. Go back to Blender. If you go to Edit and Preferences, you can install those add-ons. Uh, so wherever you download them to, you can install those add-ons. And uh, what you should then get is uh, when you do add meshes, you should have the Fluid Designer parametric meshes and the Fluid Designer parametric curves. So those are all additional features which you can install into Blender, which you can use uh, as part of our uh, Fluid Designer 3D printing app. Okay, hope that uh, helps you. If not, uh, you can always send us an email and we'll, uh, we'll help you out. Uh, thank you very much for listening.